seeming. SA Base Sheet Side Laps. Set the rolls with a minimum three inch wide seam. Pull the release liner from the back of the sheet. Roll all seams with a hand roller to ensure a proper bond. Pay special attention to the angle step offs at the end laps. End laps in SA Base. End laps in SA Base are done with a membrane adhesive only and do not require mod bit adhesive. End laps must be a minimum 6 inches wide and stagger at a minimum of 36 inches between rolls. Trim the upper corner on the upslope side at a 45 degree angle to soften the edge and prevent a gap. Pull the release liner and mate the end lap together. Roll with a 2 inch roller to promote adhesion and ensure a proper bond. Pay special attention to the angle step off. Fast lap end laps. All Mulehide SA cap sheets have a 6 inch wide granule free fast lap on the end of each roll. Fast laps reduce labor by eliminating the need for mod bit adhesive or hot air welding. Each fast lap is protected by a removable release liner. Overlap sheet 6 inches to completely cover the granule free end lap. Trim upper corner at a 45 degree angle. Carefully remove release liner from seam at a 45 degree angle. Apply a bead of Mulehide 271 mod bit sealant along the cut edge. Use hand pressure to mate the seam. Roll seam with a 2 inch roller to ensure proper adhesion, paying special attention to the step off. Apply granules to all exposed asphalt. Seal lap seams. Seal Lap is a factory applied seam treatment applied to all selvage edges on all Mulehide SA cap sheets. Seal Lap enhances the seam green strength until the mod bit seam has fully cured. When completing a Seal Lap seam, remove the release liner at a 45 degree angle. Mate the sheets together to set the seam and roll the entire seam with a 2 inch roller to ensure a proper bond. Seal Lap seam may also be hot air welded. Do not forget to remove the clear release liner from the seal lap seams to complete the seam. When a fast lap end lap or a seal lap side lap is not available, granule to granule seaming can be done two ways, hot air welding or mod bit adhesive. All granule to granule seams must be a minimum of 6 inches wide. At end laps, trim upper corner at a 45 degree angle. Using a hot air welder with a wide tip and a 2 inch silicone roller, Weld the entire 6 inch wide seam. Direct the heat to the granulated surface in order to embed the granules into the bottom sheet to create a smooth surface for the seam. When rolling, pay special attention to the angled step off. Be careful not to overheat the material. Loose granules can be spread into the bleed out to mask the edge of the seam. Mod bit adhesive. Overlap sheet a minimum of 6 inches. At end laps, trim the top corner at a 45 degree angle. Apply 421 mod bit adhesive approximately 1 8 inch thick over the entire seam area. Set the top sheet into the mod bit adhesive and roll with a 2 inch roller. Apply loose granules into the mod bit adhesive bleed out to mask the seam. Things to remember. The top corner on all end laps must be trimmed at a 45 degree angle on SA base and SA cap sheets. Granule to granule seams must be a minimum 6 inches wide and can be done two ways, hot air welding or mod bit adhesive. A bead of Mulehide 271 mod bit sealant or RGA1 must be applied to the cut angle on all fast slap end laps. Apply loose granules to any bleed out to mask the edge of the seam.